In this video, we check out the buffet at Luxor next on Jaycation. What's up, JK Shooters? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. Today, we are going to be checking out another buffet, and I am running out of buffets to review here in Vegas, and this is one of the last ones that I haven't covered yet, and this is the buffet at the Luxor, which is downstairs below the casino. It almost looks like you're going into a tomb, like King Tut's tomb, but instead, you're getting a smorgasbord. It's open from Thursday to Monday. They close at like 3 p.m., and they open early, around like 8, I believe. Let's go downstairs. Check it out and I'll tell you the prices and give you a full tour of the entire buffet. Once you get down from the escalators, you do see the restrooms. So if you need the restrooms, they have it right here. Right at the exit, it almost looks like you're going into King Tut's tomb. And then the entrance is to the left and you get a ton of different pharaohs over here. And your priority access, if you have gold, platinum, and noir, MGM rewards is over here to the side. But the regular entrance is on this way, right here, where it says buffet entrance here. It's basically dining at a buffet tomb, like you're in Egypt. Before we get to Eden, here's the prices. It's $29.99, which goes up to $31.42 plus tax. And and you can also do all you can drink for $14.99 for an hour and a half. It's their manager's special. Let's go on a tour of the smorgasbord right now. Right to the middle part of the buffet. And you start off with your fruit. So you got your green apple, your banana, and red apple, and oranges. You even got some melons here. And then over this way, you got your different types of salad greens. The toppings for your salads, cucumber, tomatoes, onions, carrots, eggs, red beans, and then and you get all your dressings over here. Ranch, Italian, blue cheese, Caesar, balsamic, and then more toppings like your blue cheese, Parmesan cheese, pepperoncinis, seeds, and croutons, all that good stuff. Over here are, these are the grits, and this is your oatmeal. And if you want some cornflakes, they got cornflakes this way. If you're looking for soup, they got chicken noodle soup here and broccoli cheddar soup. You guys know I'm gonna start off with that. I love broccoli cheddar. Over on this side, you get all your yogurts and granola and all that good stuff for the morning. And then they also have a shrimp cocktail bar. Tons of shrimp, chilled shrimp, and mini shrimps too. And your shrimp cocktail sauce. And then they also have ceviche, some lemons, and some hummus as well. And to and right over here are some of their pitas and tzatziki chips. You can get a Greek salad here, an olive salad, bean salad, and potato salad. Might have to try some of that too. The dining area is really cool. Really old school Egyptian columns. They do have a bar here, and like I said, they do have that $14.99 deal. All you can drink for an hour and a half, but you can also buy drinks by the drink. A tequila sunrise is eight bucks. And then included is your coffees and your sodas, and you can get them over here and I think they also have it on the other side as well. Starting with the left side, the breakfast section, they have chorizo and scrambled eggs with some grilled onions. They have corn and some chorizo and potatoes with tortillas here. Over in the center aisle, you got your white and wheat bread, your Philadelphia cream cheese butter and jam. There's also a toaster here with some pastries, some croissants and muffins. And of course, you can get your egg slash omelet your way over this way as well. And they even have more breakfast stuff here. So some scrambled eggs, potatoes, bacon, and breakfast sausage as well. Over this way, you got your French toast, your waffles, apple crepes, cheese blitz. They also have hot syrup and hot syrup cups here for you. All right, Jacationers, we're gonna start off with plate number one. I went with the broccoli and cheese soup which I usually get at Earl's Sandwich, but they have it here at the Luxor Buffet. Greek salad, potato salad, some ceviche, chorizo and eggs, and a breakfast pizza. I've been seeing breakfast pizzas all around Las Vegas, so I figured, why not try it? It doesn't look too appetizing. It's got bacon, cheese, some sort of scrambled eggs in it, and I put some Parmesan in it too, so let's see how it is. Try out the broccoli cheddar soup. It's pretty good, kind of hard to get the broccoli cheddar soup wrong. Kind of compare it to like the Vaughn soups. If you guys are from California and have had Vaughn soup before, it's a lot like their broccoli cheddar soup. Mm, let's get some potato salad in. It's a little sweet of a potato salad. Nothing Tabasco sauce can fix. And we also got some ceviche right next to the potato salad. Potato salad is a little bit on the sweeter side, but I didn't get too much. Mini ceviche. We got taste, but it's a little watery. Let's go with the Caesar salad. 
Salad is nice. Onto the chorizo and potatoes. Eh, needs more chorizo for sure. Let's try out the breakfast pizza. Believe it or not, it's not bad. It didn't look too appetizing to get it, but it's actually got some good taste to it. The bacon must make it good. I'll actually say pretty good. Will I eat it all? Probably not. All right, let's move on to round two. Educationers, we're so close to 100,000 subscribers. If you're not subscribed yet, I saw 78% of you are not subscribed to my channel, so please subscribe and hit that thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to see me do more buffets in Vegas, let me know what you want to see. Maybe I'll go back to like the Wicked Spoon Buffet or the Wind Buffet because it's been a couple years since I've reviewed it. Might be time to go back and check it out and see how it's doing in 2023. And now back to the buffet here at Luxor. Moving on to the Italian food here. They have some spaghetti with white sauce and red sauce. A certain type of sausage right here. And they got some pizza. They got a breakfast pizza, barbecue chicken pizza, buffalo chicken pizza, vegan style pizza, and a California pizza over here as well as a meat lovers and a cheese and pepperoni pizza here. This is their carving station right here. And they also have some roast beef, some prime rib, and some various sausage and chicken over here as well. This is the Asian area. They have white rice. They have chicken teriyaki, some vegetable spring rolls, mango habanero chicken legs that are really hot, some chicken pot stickers, some fried rice, you got your soy sauce and fortune cookies and chopsticks over here. Then a vegetable stir fry it looks like over here. And this looks like some sort of white fish. I like that they have a section devoted to donuts. They have mini donuts. Looks like they got chocolate donuts, strawberry donuts, hazelnut donuts, and sugar donuts in the very back. Round two, had to get a glass of orange juice. And if you guys have been following my buffets, you know I usually get an omelet. This time we're gonna skip the omelet. How about that? How about them apples? I ended up getting the mashed potatoes and I put the uh, southwestern gravy on here. We'll see how that is. I got some broccoli, some stir fry, uh, one pot sticker, a couple of sausages, and some of the beef. The beef looks a little dry. Just a random pink donut strawberry donut to go with it. Unlike Mikey Chen, Strictly Dumpling, I love broccoli, so. Mm, okay, let's try out the hot link here. See how the sausage is. Let's see if it's hot. All right, pretty good sausage. Can't really get that wrong. This one looks a little more dry. Let's see it. Not that one. The hot link, for sure. All right, let's try out the uh, prime rib. It's all right. Horse rice is not too, not too much of a kick. A little dry. All right, more of the stir fry. Let's see how this special gravy is like. I can dig it. It's a little different. Has a little celery taste to it. And it looks like there's small pieces of uh, sausage in it too. But you can definitely get not get this uh, thicker hot link wrong. So let's get the soy sauce on to the pot sticker. See how the pot sticker. Mm, pot sticker, not bad. I mean, you guys know I'm gonna put more uh, Tabasco on that. Oh, gotta try out the strawberry donut, the mini strawberry donut. Filling up quick here. Let's do a small round three. This is their Latin section right here. And you have your tortilla chips, black beans, some queso blanco, and nacho cheese. And then they have their salsa verde, sour cream, some red salsa, and some hot carrots over here. And it looks like you can get some specially made tacos here as well. Over this way, they have albondiga soup, some pork chili rojo, some paella, some beef tacos, and refried beans and Spanish rice and here are your crispy taco shells you can use you also got your country gravy and your southwestern gravy over this way you got your country fried steak and your biscuits along with breakfast potato and mashed potatoes and gravy to end it and like I said look at the nicely decorated Luxor themed buffet I'll, you're here for the theme right not for the buffet per se so I went light on round three just one crispy taco with the beef and beans, put some red salsa, some white queso, some cheddar. Let's see how it is. They didn't have any like lettuce. Would have liked to put that on there, but oh well, let's try it. 
beef and beans has taste. The white crust will actually make this taste a lot better. I love crunchy tapas, especially when they're nice and crisp. I'm gonna enjoy this, and then let's move on to dessert. Is there a name for these Egyptian dogs? Are they Doberman? Comment down below. I've always wondered what the name of these things are. Even though we're in Egypt, they do have Hawaiian frost, banana and coconut at this machine. On the other side of this machine, they have blue vanilla and chocolate. I'm gonna have to try that. It looks like they have some sort of custard here with some tiramisu, red velvet cupcake, cream puffs, eclairs, and chocolate. Here are the toppings for your ice cream. Chocolate, strawberry, sprinkles. We're gonna finish this off with the dessert. I ended up getting tiramisu. It's not a creme brulee. I think it's just like a, like a flan, basically cold flan and I was just interested in seeing how this blue vanilla chocolate mixed swirl looks I don't know it looks like a like a melted smurf with sprinkles on top <laughs> let's try out the tiramisu first because that looks the most appetizing mm, good tiramisu we go well with the coffee let's try out their flan ooh nice there's syrup in the bottom a bit more in that syrup mm, pretty good leche flan Oh, I love that syrup. Two for two so far. Let's see if the blue vanilla and chocolate does well. A little too icy. I mean, it's not bad. I guess the kids would have fun with it being blue. Finally, let's check out the fortune cookie here. See what it says. It says, a truly great person never puts away the simplicity of a child. What does that mean? Stay kid forever? Is that what that means? And you got your lotto numbers too in the back. And it also has like a Chinese, uh, learn Chinese word here. It means juice. Go zi stuffed. Lunchtime over. Let's go to the front and give you my thoughts on what I thought about the more buffet at the Luxor. What do these Lannister lions with this uh, chalice have to do with the Luxor. They actually call this the Moore Buffet at Luxor Las Vegas. My review is if you want to come down and feel like you're at a tomb and just hanging out in Egypt eating some breakfast and having a nice buffet, yeah, come over here. As for the food, eh, it's alright. Like the prime rib kind of was dry. I don't think it really was the best. I mean, I actually like Excalibur a lot more than this. Was it decent? It was decent. $29.99 decent? A little pricey. I wish buffets would go back down to like $14.99, $19.99. This seems like it should have been like a $15.99 buffet. I even like the buffet at the Westgate even better than this. The Main Street Station Garden Buffet? Even better. Would I come back to the more buffet here at the Luxor? Probably not. Just to see how this buffet set up, it was really interesting. They have the broken down columns over here and the lit ambiance, which I guess is probably the plus of this place is that there's kind of like a shortage of theme hotels around Las Vegas and this is one of the few that are left. So if you want to have like a theme-like buffet, Definitely check this out because even the one in Excalibur is not very like King Arthur's courtish anymore. Come here for the ambiance, I guess you'd say. But anyways, guys, I would say this buffet, it was only okay. All right, Jaycationers, please like this video if you liked it. If you want to see me do more buffets in the future, tell me what buffets you want to see. Maybe we'll do the Wind Buffet again. Maybe Wicked Spoon since we, me and Norma did Wicked Spoon when it was like coming out of the pandemic still. So let's see how it is now in 2023. Please subscribe to Jaycation. We're almost to 100k. Check out Las Vegas 777. Let's go. And if you like this video, please check out this worst to best buffets in Las Vegas. All right, Jaycationers and words of me, stay traveling. Las Vegas, let's go.